Oh, we're going to like a dream state. Oh shit, back to this. Beautiful. We're gonna watch like a creepy Yondu spying on me and my mom. To see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy. For either I just want to know how she met Yondu. But um, I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. <sighs> so Don't sad, dude. Say stuff like that. This isn't easy for me either. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. The galaxy. <laughs> You're gonna kill Thanos. Whoa. And change everything. How does she know? Wait. This, this is fake, right? This isn't how it happened. Okay, thank you. You didn't say that before. Please, trust me, baby. I'm trying to help you. Every time I look up there, I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? It's just got kind of weird. Even better from over here. Peter. Please? Ah, Shiv is probably a decision. For a little bit. You're being weird. No. I'm cool right here. Suit yourself. Fuck. You're being weird, dude. Shit. So, what am I supposed to be There's looking There's Orion. At? The stars. Gemini. I don't look like much. Canis Major. You keep staring and suddenly... That's Orion. No I know it's Candace Major. It I'm just, indeed. I'm being funny. First constellation you ever learned. Well, it just disappeared. Oh, a new one popped up. Well, let's take a look at I the think Canis. That one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever going to get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams. Every single night. It's getting super sad, man. <laughs> well, apparently something's being made out in the sky. It's going to spell out like, kill Thanos. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. Hmm. What's gonna happen now? You get the two dots, two dots, two more dots. I don't know what it is. New hourglass constellation. That looks like the Eternity Forge. You got an hourglass from that? <sighs> sure does. Look closer. That writing. Does they kill Thanos? Was there <laughs> what? What does it say? Oh. Mom. Shouldn't Yondu be here? Didn't he get teleported into this shit? Come find me, Peter. I'm lost. Guys. I don't think they can hear us. <laughs> Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Is Yondu really the dead? Uh. Yeah, I didn't want to invite you into my own personal memory banks. Well, it's too late, boy. <laughs> I saw your inside thoughts. What just happened? I saw my mom. It went into my brain. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. 
Stop eating already. God, can you read it for me? It'll keep us in suspense. What does it say? You can read that filthy language. <laughs> no. You but filthy I think monster. My sister can. Oh. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. I feel like Groot Gro is Nebula, gonna steal one of the gnomes. Maybe she can like, she's just been staring at it the whole time. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Thanos. You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. That is and true. That is uh... something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Rocket's right. If we go after Nebula, we better be careful. I am prepared for any danger. Yeah, now you're I've full. You covered. I tried to get in contact with Nebula not long ago. She won't be hard to track down. Better let me have a look at your ship then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am hey, moved. man. Somebody get this tree away from me. Stop being mean to group, man. Choose loudly. With <laughs> the snacks. Could you be any more useless right now? He's gonna be like, yes. I was gonna say I thought this was gonna be a very rocket centric okay? episode. Look, I guess now I'm we're gonna. This, so I'm just gonna do it fast. Now we're gonna get into his backstory or whatever. We don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Uh, my mom. My mom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys. There was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. Yeah, I saw a little bit about just, this in the trailer. I have to try. He was like in love with like a sea otter. It looked like. I know going after Nebula is the logical move. Now here's the big choice right here. You gotta find out why this thing's affected you. But this favor, I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. So here's the big decision uh, point in in the story. We can go two ways, and I kind of compare this to the Minecraft one. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch it. In ep I think it was episode two of the Minecraft thing. Uh, there's two things we can do. We can go to like that one world to get the TNT guy, or we can. There's the other person. I think the redstone person. And either one, you you kind of make that decision, and the episode kind of revolves around it. So that's what kind of happens here. We can go do the whole Nebula story, or we can go do this whole Rocket story. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the Rocket one, to be honest. I feel sorry about Gamora because this is like the second time we've blown her off. This is kind of just awkward standing between. I think we're gonna lean towards the Rocket. I don't see the benefits to, to the whole Nebula thing. Well, she can read the thing, right? Ah, uh, okay, so do we want to read the Eternity Forge, or do we want to help Rocket? That's the basically where of things. I really want to go Rocket. Part of me wants to go to Nebula, too, because I want to see her in action and all that, and I, I want to give Gamora some stuff. But, you know, Rocket, he just opened up to me. He was like, yo, I've never told anybody about this, this is, you know putting his trust in me much to you. We'll go. Really? Thanks. Fuck me. I mean it. Help me out with this, boy. Hey, Groot. Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot. <laughs> it slipped. I feel sorry about Gamora. Next decision that's Gamora oriented. We're doing it no matter what. You heard it here. Unless she's just like, fuck you guys, I'm not a part of our group anymore because you guys treat me like shit. That's also a possibility. That'll do. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. I wonder how Gamora's Should gonna right take the news and when he's gonna tell her. Where are we going, Star Lord? Oh, here it is. Detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half World. 
We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. I we should be, Peter, but there's something you need to see. But half worlds. Hey, you promised. We're going. <sighs> found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. I feel like a piece she's of shit. She's heading towards the Collector's Museum on nowhere. Oh shit, Peter, dude. She's going after Thanos. Can body. we get a say? Oh man, this sounds so awesome. But half we world. Are supposed to care because. Oh I shit! I think we could change it. Kill anyone who gets in her way. I promise you. Sucks for the collector. I would hate to be those guys. You really Fuck. don't care. We gave the body to them. This is on us. But she doesn't have the eternity forge, so. You see that, don't you? <sighs> she, I don't even know what to pick here. You're right. You. <laughs> You're right. This is on us. We're responsible for Thanos. Bully, body. we're gonna do the rocket thing, we right? Do stop Nebula from no. Chaos. Did I just fuck up everything? Scare me like that, Peter. Did I just fuck up everything? You're gonna cave? Just like that? We had a deal, God, Pete. I don't want to cave. We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Do we get Look, one final decision? Is a promise. Pete and I are going to have war. Oh, the two of us? Nebula is more important. Okay, so you we get to make get the to decision again. When it's a matter of civilian lives, yes I do. <sighs> she does have a point. Civilians and Thanos and all that shit. Rocket, it's just like... she's. I think she's dead. So it kind of doesn't matter anymore. Fuck, I'm so torn. But I made a promise. Ah! I'm fucking torn, dude. I'm, I'm torn. I don't know. Oh, my God. Um. I'm gonna pick Rocket. We're going to Half World. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. God damn it. Come on, just like, what the fuck? Now this. Yeah, I, I know. Once you would listen to me. Next time, I promise. Next time for sure, man. I got you. God damn it, I feel like such an asshole. Check in with the Guardians, leave now for Half World. Uh, I guess we'll check in with the Guardians. When you're ready to leave, visit the pilot station. Yeah, let's go talk to them and shit, cuz. Uh, just to see what's up. Anything new? Got some decorations. I think we I looked at these already, am right? A collector of fine art. The finest of arts. What is this? A model toy. Only present I ever got from Yondu. Found it on a stolen freighter covered in garbage. <laughs> Said it reminded him of me. It's a real piece of shit, so maybe. I'm gonna play some of this copywritten music. Let me put these in the common area. Mm, anything else? Uh, oh, yep. Candy. Let's take some candy. Who has been eating all this candy? Some fucking monster. Don't take my goddamn candy, man. There's more Seriously, candy. Seriously, this stuff's everywhere. It's gotta be Groot. Is Groot or Drax? Tape deck. Oh, yes! Rocket must have gotta work it again. Um, sure, play tape. Is this copywritten? We're gonna back out just in case. Oh, I'm grooving. Yeah, let's go talk to Gamora so I can feel like a piece of shit. Look at that mystery box. It's all this. That looks awesome. None of your business. Do I you know you feel that way. I want to peek. She's gonna murder me. I told you that was none of your business. But I, I was. Get out. Well, I fucked up, <laughs> but it looks so cool. I couldn't, I couldn't, man. I thought we were just playing around, man. A stick? Question mark. Is it a candy stick? No, that's Groot. That's fucking Groot. Who else is gonna leave pieces of fucking wood everywhere? A baseball <laughs> glove. It's funny how alien all my Earth junk starts to look after a while. Oh, there's Rocket. How's it going, buddy? Oh, there's something on the floor. Come on! The 
die on me. I'll buy you a new one. Why don't you let me buy you a new one of those? Lots of fancy gadgets out there nowadays. No. Sorry. I, I appreciate the offer. It's probably given to him by his no love. Ah. We're about to learn more in a little bit. I think I got something in the engine room to fix this. You want to talk? I'll be down there. Yeah, I'll be there in a little bit. Hold on. Can, is this... No, those aren't items. But there's candy everywhere. I, I'm starting to notice it now. Anything back here? Is Yondu still on the ship? I'd like for Yondu to chill out with us a little bit. We need some more Yondu. Go to the bridge. Look at the monitor. Missions are good. Engines are all running smooth. Some funky red light is blinking. Meh. That's probably fine. I concur. Okay, let's get talk to Rocket in the fucking engine room. Cause he wanted to be a diva. Well, he probably just doesn't want to talk out in the open. That acted like it was a whole cutscene. Piles of junk. Gru, I gotta have a word with you, Mister, <sighs> about some candy I found. Misfits, and what do you get? Slobs. Peter, that's what you get. Okay, Mr. Groot, we need to have a talk. Hey, how's my favorite tree? I am Groot. <laughs> I am good. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Uh, one day I'll understand you. One of these days, you and I are going to be able to have a conversation. I am Groot. There's not a learn to speak Groot class I can take, is there? I am Groot. <laughs> well, this has been a lively and fascinating conversation. I am Groot. Can we talk about Rocket though? I agree. Well, even though I'm not gonna be able to understand what he's saying, I'm worried about Rocket. Think Rocket's gonna be okay. I'm worried about him. I am Groot. I am Groot. Well, I'm gonna uh go. It's like why did I even bother asking? Now. I am Groot. All right, Groot, you, you keep it up. My favorite tree. What do we got in here? Oh, piles of junk. Wait, wait. Shouldn't these parts be in the ship or something? Apparently not. Okay, Rocky, let's talk, hey, buddy. Hi, Quill. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Later, Quill. What the fuck? You're kidding! You're fucking kidding! Back again? Yep. Thanks for the talk. Uh huh. What? What? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm in the engine room if you want to talk. Okay, cool. Alright, good talk. What? I don't know if that's a bug or a glitch or something, but what the fuck?